strategist, Ava Ados. And before we start discussing those names, I know you saw Apple Oven at the top of the screen here. I want to talk to you about what a lot of people are calling a, a trap right now, the Gartner IT trap. This is a real famous uh, uh, chart. And essentially, you're saying when, when something, when these hot new stocks start to move, there's a stealthy phase. Most people haven't heard about it. For some reason, they think the smart money's in there. Smart money and public money have reversed. Public money has been buying this here. And so your first sell-off usually doesn't have these stocks go down much. It's called the bear trap. You don't want to go short them because they go back up. But now you see where it says bull trap right here? Mm -hmm. This is where they're saying we are, Ava, that, okay, these stocks have had huge moves. Everyone's talking about new paradigms. They pull back this little bitty bounce like we're getting today. Don't buy it. What do you say to something like that? Uh, I'm buying it. <laughs> so I think we're far along. I think this is not a bubble because if you look at uh, the fundamentals, the valuations of this, these stocks are not detached from the fundamentals. There are some valuations that are a little far along the near term fundamentals, but in most cases, that's not the case. And right. AI is real, AI growth is real, and you can actually measure it. Well, here's the thing, though. You do say AI, did, this has been their first test, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So that dip that we saw, that's not a, a, a bull trap, but it, it was a test. Valuation fatigue, everyone's talking about return on investment, right? And even if they can even raise that kind of money. Energy constraints, we know that's an issue. And just the urge sort of to rot rotation out of those names. We're past this for now. I think we're far along. We're not completely past it, but we are, we are far along. I think more and more of us are realizing that we've, we have a lot of negativity, as you said, in the market. People saying that's a bubble, that's an AI bubble. It's not like the dot com. This, in this case, you have real cash flows, you have record earnings, and you have productivity that's measurable because of AI. And you can actually measure that. That's what makes this different, that this time we have data that support, in most cases, the valuations. Yeah, Mag7 makes a, they make a billion dollars every 16 hours. You say AI superpowers and their greater role in the economy, right? These aren't pot sock puppets. In fact, moving faster than the Federal Reserve, another catalyst now, they're going to spark a growth super cycle. Mm -hmm. So this sounds like more like the beginning than the end. I think so, uh, exactly. And in in some cases, I want to be honest here. In some cases, you see companies that say we use AI, but you can't really measure it. And then they're firing people, and then they're hiring them back. We don't. We want to avoid these mistakes. But you have companies like App Loving, which I think is the best example of AI. We're going to get that one second. But let me yes. ask you real quick before we switch. Uh, deflationary impact. Yes. And in an era right now, the Federal Reserve is so focused myopically on inflation rather than the jobs crisis. You're saying deflationary impact is what we're going to get from AI. Yeah, 100 percent. And you see this because the, the AI is cutting jobs faster than the Fed is cutting rates. And, and as a result, in many cases, we see uh, lower jobs, job, jobs are coming down, people are, are getting fired. And uh, that's an unfortunate scenario because spending is coming down. And then, and then you have less liquidity in the market. And so that's deflationary. But that's supporting the valuation. So you have the bad news, which is bad for the people. And and then, but that actually supports right. the growth stocks and their valuations in our case. So, App Loving, I don't know how much we're up on this since you came on. I mean, this you mentioned this a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. This stock has been a juggernaut. Uh, it had three short attacks against it. The media helped those shorts try to push the stock down. It's come roaring back. The number one percentage gainer in today's session. And you think this just keeps going? Yeah. You know what's interesting about App Loving? The gross margin is same as its peers, as its category, but it's EBITDA margin. It's what happens after the gross margin that makes it unique. Its EBITDA margin is five to six times higher than the rest of the category. That means that they are using AI better than anyone to streamline their operations, cut costs, expand their margins. That's why we love it, and that's why it's been one of the best S&P 500 it's a, it's a, names. It's a beast. It is an absolute beast. Robinhood's been a beast this year. Uh, and you like this predictions market tokenization. Yeah. You say this is going to continue to drive growth. Tokenization is a market measure in the trillions. Prediction markets, as their CEO says, is on fire. Last time we spoke, between um, February and, and September, they did 4 billion event contracts. Now, just in October, they did 2.5 billion. That is an area that's growing. Whatever we said last time, right. add an exclamation point to it. 
Can't let you go without coin. It's so funny because I've been saying this year that coin and Robinhood, the performance there, signals a transferring, a changing of the guard. FinTech dominating over traditional uh, financial companies. And that's the key player because it's bridging traditional finance with digital assets. And there is a quite profit making machine when it comes to coin. Not many people speak about it. It's USDC because every dollar in their platform is pure margin. There's no overhead. It go, goes straight to the bottom line. And that's what I think is going to have, it was 14% of the total revenue last year was related to USDC. That's going to one-fifth of the total revenue now, and I think it's going to grow. Wow, good stuff. Love it.